world's first processor that will take a 3D content and produce a full 3D image on your regular 2D TV. Okay, any TV with an HDMI input can be utilized. It can be a TV or a projector, uh, liquid crystal, LED, plasma, doesn't make any difference. We have some proprietary technology that allows you to get a very good image with a 60, 50 or 60 cycle refresh rate. Um, there can be, in some cases, flicker. You can adjust that with the emitter to a limited or limited to a very minimum amount. Certainly, as you go up in speed, you're going to get a much clearer image with none of the issues of any flicker. So you get very, very excellent uh, images at 100, 120, and up. You get, you can get some flicker, which can be adjusted with the emitter to get it down to where it's certainly minimal, if any at all. Um, in terms of markets, can you, obviously television, Blu-ray, what about gaming? Gaming, uh, it can be, the source can be anything. I mean, it could be, for instance, a, uh, a 3D camera you own yourself. It could be a, a phone with 3D ca camera capability. It could be a game. It could be a, a satellite broadcast or a cable. It doesn't make any difference, as long as it's a 3D content. There are 26 different variations on this available. It will process any of that and give you the full quality 3D image on your screen. This is available right now in the States, is that correct? Available actually in about a week in the States. We'll be shipping our first quantity of these units in the States in less than a week. And how many, I just said you've got two versions. This is one for a professional, one for a consumer. What's the difference? Well, what we actually have is we have a, the device we're showing here which is the processor, the actual call this called a 3D theater, will take, as I say, any input from 3D and give you a full 3D image on a 2D process, uh, TV or projector. The product that's coming out shortly in the summertime is a distributed product. It's called a Theater Plus. It allows you to use a matrix system and generate the 3D image on multiple 2D screens uh, throughout your house, rather than just one screen. Uh, what about the UK, Europe, Australia, Brazil, you know, all, all the other countries? Are, we, are, are you going to get this out there? Are you looking yeah, for distribution? Right here at the show, we're actually interviewing some distributors. We are interviewing some dealers. We are looking to produce or, or to generate our full distribution worldwide uh, throughout the states and around the world. This is a truly universal product. It's 50, 60 cycles, 100, 120. You know, you name the voltage, you name the, 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 uh, the, the uh, cycles, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Um, the uh, power source is an outboard wall wart, which is 50, 60 cycles. So all you need is a proper adapter for the... Uh, so I've got my projector, I want to go 3D. I just plug in this box, I get the glasses. How much is the box and the glasses together? in the US? Well, first, here's, here's uh, an element that you have to have. You're essentially going to take the output from your source with your uh, HDMI into the input of the, of the processor and then back out to the other. If you had, for instance, a receiver, you would put all your different sources in there and then put the processor between the output and the, the final product. Now, to answer your question about pricing, the suggested retail in in Europe or throughout the world uh, will be $699 US dollars for the processor and $199 for what we call a starter kit, which is a single pair of glasses and one emitter. You only need one emitter no matter how many pair of glasses you're using. Additional glasses are $149 international. I mean, that to me sounds expensive when you could get a, a 3D television for about, well, in the UK, 500 pounds, which I guess is about 700 US dollars. So, what, what are you, how are you going to persuade people to sort of not go down that route? Well, there's a couple of different things. First of all, 3D is thrown out as if it were one thing, when in reality there's multiple variations on what 3D is. And you have everything from uh, polarized lenses, which is generally the less expensive systems you're talking about. Okay, to a full active shutter system like we have. So you have a, a difference in qualitative image, depth of field, ac color accuracy, all those things. Um, we have the ability to give you excellent color rendition, full depth of field, 
and uh, the excellent contrast throughout the picture, whereas other systems deteriorate that. So this, it's, 3D is not one thing, it's a multitude of different variations on how I've, I'd have to say, the, the uh, very low cost projector you're showing, I think it was only about £200, it did look the same as any other 3D projector. And essentially this initial product from us is designed for this audience, the custom installer integrator. Okay. Uh, over the last few years, they probably installed innumerable, innumerable projectors, high dollar projectors, large screens that were very expensive. And that consumer probably isn't going to want to go out and spend that amount of money over again, especially in the more expensive projectors. This allows them to go back to that customer and say, I have an opportunity here to show you how to make your current system produce a full 3D capable Hollywood quality image. Okay? And they can do this in what is a very cost effective manner compared to replacing that unit.